brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The new house. Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Peppa has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh, Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Peppa. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr. Bull. Bye-bye. Bye! George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Peppa. We've got new neighbours. Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look. Little piggies. Hello. I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... <laughs> Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <gasps> <laughs>
Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Flying Vet. Peppa has brought Goldie the fish to the vets for a checkup. You've got a healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hamster. This is Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Aeroplane! No! George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. A Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Hello, <laughs> Peppa, George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh. oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island. There we go. Better, Polly? Ah, uh, better, Polly? Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello? Daddy Pig here. Daddy Pig is in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof. I'll be right there. Thank goodness you're here. Side. Dr. Hamster here. Mrs. Duck laid her eggs on our roof. And now the ducklings have hatched. <coughs> Who can make a quacking noise? Me! I'm very good at quacking. Pepper, start quacking and the ducklings will follow you. Quack, quack, quack. <coughs> quack, quack. Lead them to the duck pond, please, Peppa. OK. I'm Mummy Duck. Quack, quack, quack. <coughs> quack, quack, quack. <coughs> <coughs> the ducklings are back with their mummy and daddy. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is it another emergency? Yes. It's Mr Hamster. I'm late for my tea. Bye. Bye-bye, Dr Hamster. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Wishing Well. Grandpa Pig is showing Peppa and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots and beetroots live here. And over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh. No. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! Use this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Pepper and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Pepper? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. <sniffs> uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs> My little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Night animals. Peppa and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying... Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Pepper. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> There you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, good night, night, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little 
to Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. George's balloon. Peppa and George have had a day out with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream. Why not? I think we deserve it. Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Coming right up. What flavours would you like? Strawberry for me, please. Chocolate for me, please. Banana for me, please. Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, I don't think they have dinosaur ice cream. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon. Do you not want an ice cream, George? No. Dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho. how much is the little balloon? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? It's all for a good cause. There you go, George. Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. If you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <coughs> Grandpa! Oh! <coughs> ah, got you. <coughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandma. I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go. And it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <laughs> Who's a clever Polly? <laughs> <laughs> George. Don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Playing pretend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh! I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. <laughs> George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. <laughs> A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <laughs> A dinosaur. Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. <coughs> you need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring, the splish is splosh, the rain comes down, diddly diddly diddly. The pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh! Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes. Those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready? Steady? Stop! What's the matter, Pepper? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> then you are allowed to jump. Ready? Steady? Jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. The splash, the splash, the rain comes down, diddly, diddly, dee. Hey!
Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Outback. Peppa has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. The crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane! Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day Going to a picnic a long, long way away Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback! Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now! Oh, it looks like a desert! It kind of is. But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the Outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. <laughs> But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <laughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! <laughs> I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. 